Here's an SAT math rule that you need to know that I'm going to illustrate through solving this question. The question says there were no jackrabbits in Australia before 1788 when 24 jackrabbits were introduced. By 1920, the population of jackrabbits had reached 10 billion. If the population had grown exponentially, this would correspond to a 16.2% increase on average in the population each year. Which of the following functions best models P of T, which is the population of jackrabbits T years after 1788? Key thing we need to understand here, and I'm going to illustrate with answer choice C, is outside of our parentheses, we need our starting amount, which we know is 24 jackrabbits. Next, inside of these parentheses, we need our growth factor, which we know is 16.2%, but we have to keep in mind that we have to have that 1 in front of it to account for the amount we started with. So we're going to have 1.162 in parentheses. Then the power that we're raising it to is how often we are increasing by that growth factor. So how often do we multiply our initial population by that growth factor? In this case, we know that we are increasing by 16.2% on average each year. Therefore, we need to raise it to the power t for each year after 1788. So our answer is going to be C.